Welcome to this presentation on timing in data centers with Calnex Solutions. Today, we are going to look uh, at the requirements for timing in data center infrastructure. So why timing is required in, in data centers? One of the key drivers for timing in data center is the correlation in synchronization. In fact, timing has always been prevalent in data centers worldwide. This is because data centers and data are becoming more and more decentralized, distributed globally, and this data needs synchronization. For example, did transaction A happen before or after transaction B? So many systems in data centers are low cost and their internal oscillators need periodically corrected. A lot of data center services are charge services. Billing and charging relies on time stopping to correctly charge the customer and complete transactions. NTPD or daemon widely used. However, this presentation is about how this is changing. So let's start by looking at why this is changing. So one of the drivers for change today is that data centers need more precise timing because more and more data is being generated in different locations. Uh, data centers are becoming more and more distributed globally and decentralized throughout regional locations. And data is being generated from a, a remote location and then centralized globally at a, at a central location. More and more computing is moving out of the data center and into the edge or edge computing. This data needs to be correlated. Synchronization becomes important because the better correlation one has, the less need for rewrite and bulk data transfer, which are costly actions in data centers. Therefore, better accuracy is equal to lower cost. Higher volume of transactions requires greater resolution that NTPD cannot offer. This becomes particularly important in finance and highly regulated industries. The better the resolution in high frequency transactions, for example, can mean an edge on competitors and more transactions. Timestamp accuracy is mandated by regulators. More transactions can mean more revenue for financial applications. There, there are also other drivers. Microbursting can be an expensive event to manage in the data center. The more accurately these events can be timed, uh, time stamped, sorry, the more accurately you can be sure of the cause of the event allowing for better resource planning. Analytics needs to know the order of events in order to work correctly, and therefore accurate synchronization is required. A lot of 5G infrastructure will be moving into the data center we already know that telecommunications rely on accurate timing to work. This will continue to be true for 5G infrastructure in data centers. So why is timing and synchronization in data centers now required? The fundamental reason for this is in the accuracy and precision of the requirement. For 100 milliseconds or one second of accuracy, testing is generally not required. Moving closer to one microsecond of accuracy, testing becomes essential, as there is no way to guarantee that performance without testing. So why not just use GPS? Well, data centers do in fact use GPS as a source of time. However, it is very difficult to distribute GPS throughout a data center. Getting a GPS signal in is not easy, uh, and this then needs to be distributed throughout often massive data centers. This is difficult to do and very expensive. In general, data center operators have deployed GPS, but have lots of issues with it, which is why NTP and PTP are much more reliable solutions for timing in data centers. So let's move on and take a look at a real example. Facebook have been building a global infrastructure. They currently have 15 global data centers and that's increasing to 23. Uh, with further plans. Um, they have a widely deployed NTPD and have a project uh, named internally as Crony um, to enhance their NTP. Testing of Crony was completed with the Calnex Sentinel. In fact, if we follow this link, it will take us to Facebook Engineering. Facebook are very open with their information uh, and this article describes a lot of the concept in this PPT in, in a lot more detail. Um, they have built a more accurate version of NTP. And if I just scroll down, once this loads, uh, we will see the, the Calnex Sentinel embedded in the testnet.
So let's take a, a more detailed look at Sentinel for testing NTP and PTP um, off the back of that Facebook example that, that we just showed. So this is a diagram that represents Facebook's data center timing deployment. They use GNSS as a source of time, then NTP across the network to deliver timing to all of the fabric of their data center. Uh, they use different tiers of clocking, from stratum one, stratum two, and so on and so forth. And depending on the tier, they have a different level of clocking. Uh, so they want to measure the level of clocking and guarantee the level of accuracy throughout their data center. The challenge we had is that they wanted to test NTP at 10 gig and at IPv6. When they first started the project last year, there was no way to test NTP over IPv6. Calnex initiated a development project for this, specifically for Facebook functionality, um, that we're now rolling out to other customers. So, so Calnex initiated the development project, um, as I mentioned, to develop this functionality on the Sentinel, uh, because Facebook needed to measure the NTP at all of these points and PTP in the future, but the tester has to reference the one PPS coming from the stratum one. This is because the stratum one is what they evaluate their switches against. In a data center, these spine and leaf switches could be a few hundred meters away from the stratum one switch. So in order to accurately test this, you need to measure relative to that device, but at a measurement point physically nowhere near the device. Of course, the problem this is trying to overcome is a lack of GNSS in a data center. All of these challenges were presented to us uh, and that is why we got the business. The Sentinel device can be trained by the one PPS reference, then disconnected, and the internal rubidium holds the time, which can allow the customer to then go and measure NTP and one PPS at all the differing points in the data center. Today, the Sentinel can measure 10 gig PTP and NTP, um, as well as at one gig and one PPS, solving the measurement requirement for Facebook and data centers generally. Uh, remember, we can also test and hold over using the internal rubidium, allowing testing throughout the data center and independent of GPS source. So just a, a quick overview of the Sentinel features. So it's suitable for long-term PTP and NTP time error measurements uh, using with or without GNSS, thanks to the, the internal rubidium. Uh, it's multi-clock and packet measurements simultaneously. So we can measure a one PPS and uh, packet measurements as well at the same time. It's capture replay compatibility with Paragon X. So capture your impairments, you can capture the, the profile on your network and share this with your vendor, who quite likely uses a Paragon X. And now the main takeaway, I guess, from, from this longer feature list is the introduction of NTP and IPv6, uh, making this product suitable and unique for the data center market. Thank you for taking the time to, to listen and, and watch this presentation. Uh, I've been Stephen Fitzsimmons from Connex Solutions. Um, feel free to get in touch with your local partner if you'd like to find out any further information about this product or application. Thank you.